The project, uh, which is titled Taking Decisions About Information Value, uh, has been won by a team from the University of Portsmouth, funded by uh, ECRC uh, CREST, uh, which is a center of research for evidence on security threats. Uh, the investigation uh, team is led by myself. I am uh, Professor Ashraf Labib from the uh, Business School uh, uh, of the University of Portsmouth, and my co-investigators are Professor Lorraine Hope, uh, from psychology department, Dr. Salem Chaker from the business school, Dr. Adrian James from the Institute of Criminal Justice. And they are all from Portsmouth. And there is also a consulting company called uh, Polaris, uh, consulting company uh, workers working with us. Uh, the project aims to develop and evaluate innovative analytical uh, approach to address errors in judgments as an outcome of bias and noise uh, in the decision-making process. So the University of Portsmouth will uh, be provide experts in uh, root cause de decision analysis and operational research techniques, uh, information elicitation, uh, multiple criteria decision analysis, and criminal intelligence. Uh, as well as an expert uh, consulting companies in operational research, uh, experimental designs, and software development, which is uh, Polaris. So decision makers in many walks of life, including security and defense, are typically required to process a large amount uh, of data in a timely manner in order to extract useful information and detect potential uh, risks and threats. This task relies on consistent judgments by the analyst in order to efficiently uh, process the data and effectively identify useful information. Research and historical evidence has shown, however, that the decision makers' judgments can be inconsistent due to the mass of data, the variation in types and nature of the information, and the time pressure that these decision makers are typically operating with. Consequently, decision may be taken in such a way that first deviates significantly from those of their peers, second from their own prior decisions, and third from their training rules that they have been themselves uh, for aimed, the aim to follow. So such inconsistency is mainly due to two types of errors, noise and bias, which complicate the decision-making process and are a result in the key pieces of data being misclassified or overlooked with potential uh, threats uh, implications. So the proposed uh, project aim really to develop, train and evaluate an innovative analytical approach to address th these errors and enable decision makers to achieve better judgments about the value uh, elicited information uh, from existing data. The innovation here is in the embedding of a method called the Domain's Rough Set method, and this is basically to, to, to extract rules from data. And this will be an, enable the decision maker to interest uh, interests and behavior to be captured in such, in such uh, using this method. So this method will be incorporated into a software tool that will be used to evaluate the consistency of the decision maker's judgments at both individual and group levels, as well as identify key factors for uh, by or biases which influence the decision making process. So the findings will be used to inform training activities and as a decision within the tool to ensure that more robust judgments are, are, are being made. Specifically, the project aims to address the following research uh, questions. Number one, how much does individual decision maker bias affect the quality of the decisions? Number two, will the incorporation of group decision support as feedback as opposed to individual support improve the quality of the decision makers of the individuals? And thirdly, do ad additional facilities of such feedback uh, provide a support for better decision taking? So. Uh, please, uh, if you want to know more about this, please visit our website at uh, www.crestresearch.ac.uk where you can find more information about uh, this uh, exciting project.